Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most highly anticipated games in the indie world, Hollow Knight Silksong. This game has had fans on the edge of their seats for what feels like forever, and 2024 might finally be the year we get some big news. Could we actually be nearing a release date? So let's get into why Silksong has captured so much attention and what we might expect from Team Cherry in the coming months. First off, let's talk about why people are so hyped for Silksong. Hollow Knight, the original game, wasn't just another indie release. It was a groundbreaking title that set a new standard for platformers and metroidvanias. The dark atmosphere, incredible world building, and challenging gameplay pulled players in, creating a huge fan base almost instantly. So when Team Cherry announced Silksong, a full-on sequel with new mechanics, environments, and lore, the hype went through the roof. But here's the thing, despite all the excitement, Team Cherry has been extremely tight-lipped. We've had very few updates, and every time they do release something, the community goes wild with speculation. At this point, every hint, every detail, and every little piece of gameplay gets picked apart by fans looking for clues. Now, here's where things get interesting. It's widely speculated that Silksong could make a big appearance at the next Game Awards. This event has become a major stage for game announcements, and it feels like the perfect place for Team Cherry to finally reveal something substantial. Maybe we'll get a new trailer, maybe we'll see more gameplay, or who knows, we could even get an official release date. But let's get into what we do know about Silksong so far. Unlike Hollow Knight, where we followed the journey of the Nameless Knight, Silksong puts us in the shoes of Hornet, a character known for her agility and strength. The gameplay promises to be faster, with new abilities and tools that Hornet brings to the table. Plus, Team Cherry has hinted at a new setting Farloom that's supposed to be even larger and more complex than Halonest. And if they manage to pull it off, this game could redefine what we think of indie platformers. Another interesting twist. Team Cherry is adding quests and crafting mechanics, something we didn't see in Hollow Knight. It feels like they're not just making a sequel, but building an entirely new experience in the same universe. That's part of why fans are so invested. They're not just waiting for a repeat of Hollow Knight, they're expecting a game that expands the lore, the gameplay, and the entire world. Now, let's talk about what Silksong could mean for the indie gaming world if it lives up to the hype. Hollow Knight already set the bar high, but if Silksong comes out with more depth, richer lore, and a completely fresh take on gameplay, it could push other indie developers to aim even higher. We could see more ambitious indie games with bigger worlds and deeper stories. It's not just a game, it's a benchmark. But of course, all of this depends on Team Cherry actually delivering. And while we're all hoping for a big announcement soon, there's always that lingering fear that it might get delayed. Indie developers have their own pace, and we've seen that with Silksong. But in a way, the mystery and the wait have only added to the excitement. So, what do you guys think? Are we finally going to see Silksong drop in 2024? Or is this another year of speculation? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get the discussion going. If you're as hyped for Silksong as we are, make sure to subscribe because you won't want to miss any updates. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.